but they found we found Bruce Van Hine first. Oh, that's why. That's why the beam. This is Bruce. His nickname was the Possum. He, he cut trees for a living uh, for side work. And this beam right here, we found Bruce's body by this beam. And what we did was we spray painted SQ41 on the beam, to let our guys know where we found Bruce. And as more of the beam became exposed, other companies started spray painting further on down the line. Then we found Greg Sikorsky, my 24 partner. He's the one who relieved me at 8.30 in the morning on September 11th. And we found Greg on uh, St. Patrick's Day week, and this is us carrying Greg's body out. Uh, the gentleman on the left is, is Greg's father. And then we found uh, Bobby Hamilton a few days later, and he was the last guy from Squad 41 that we found. Tommy Cohen, his nickname in the firehouse was the Golden Boy. Mm. He was the star quarterback for the FDNY football team. Mike Lyons, he called everyone bro. So his nickname was Bro in the firehouse. His wife, Elaine, was six months pregnant with their, with their daughter. And Mike Keeley was the, was the lieutenant. Uh, I remember working out with Mike on um, September 10th night. He was just sharing some personal stories about his, his wife and how his, his troubles that his son was getting into. We never found Mike. We, never found, we actually never found both Mikes or Tommy. Um, what we did was we found some tools of the, gentleman, of the guys in uh, South Tower. And what we did was we took chicken wire and some 2 by 4s and we made a screen and we took some of the ashes and sifted through and we found three sets of steel tips and three sets of steel shanks for the shoes, metal buckles for the coats. That's all we found with the guys in Squad 41. This was the helmet you were wearing that day, right? I actually I didn't have a helmet on. I was in shorts and a t-shirt, just, just as I am now. This is how I got caught in the collapse of the North Tower. Wow. Not, not this bad. This, yeah. This, is, <laughs> this isn't 12 years old. But this is the helmet that I had my whole career. Uh, so basically all the fires that I went to. And this is the floor? Marble that, flooring. That's marble of floor. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember which tower I got it from. But this would be the, the this was the floor, and this would be the wall of the uh, World Trade Center. This is actually a piece of glass from the windows of the World Trade Center. You said that's the largest piece that you could find. Oh, so that's in a, that's the largest piece that I did find. I found some very small pieces. There's 43,600 windows of the World Trade Center. Yet we really didn't find much glass at all. Everything was pulverized in the collapse of the building. You have to remember, the buildings collapsed at 120 miles an hour and they collapsed in 11 seconds. So it was a tremendous force. Everything, everything was pulverized, the glass, the concrete. We didn't find a chair, we didn't find a desk, we didn't find a computer. Everything was just pulverized in that white cloud of smoke coming down the block. And this over here? This is a piece of steel that I found in the North Tower. It was down around basement four. There was six levels of the World Trade Center. And it was just a found out later on that that's where the jet fuel had run down and that one section of the, of the box beam was melted like stalactites and stalagmites. So it was tremendous heat that melted these big huge box beams where the steel was just dripping onto each other and, just, and stacking up. So I snapped a piece of it off just to, to, to show other people how hot the, the, the World Trade Center site was. Wow. Where did you find this firefighters? Well, that, was found, that was found in the South Tower among some other three. South Tower? South Tower. As wow. well as well as the Halligan hook, piece of the Halligan hook. What does the Halligan hook do? Halligan hook. This is actually a six-foot piece, but there's only a foot foot of it left over. It's a tool that we use to pull ceilings in a fire situation. We check for fire extension, so we'll pull all the ceilings out, and make sure the fire didn't spread up to the ceilings up until the higher floors above. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you for this tour, all right. Squad 41.